Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another episode of the Linux channel. I was just uh, doing some kind of uh, research in terms of my network optimization product and as well as uh, you know for a specific uh, client's you know architecture and then uh, I just stumbled upon an interesting uh, patent from Google and the patent number is uh, 866-1119. In this uh, video episode I am going to attach uh, the link of this uh, patent so that you can also open and uh, refer it so the patent is all about uh, in terms of uh, discovering the number of uh, users uh, behind uh, one or more ip addresses you know this is something uh, you can understand in case you are uh, working out some kind of seo strategy whether it is for a website or whether it is for youtube uh, you know this is how uh, you know uh, the google's algorithms are going to be designed and uh, i just discovered uh, it has been uh, you know, uh, invented by a few Indian uh, uh, Google employees and as well as a nation. So uh, I just uh, listed down all the details in my whiteboard so that, you know, let me just uh, not, uh, you know, uh, take time in terms of uh, writing these things. So it has been invented by guys called, uh, you know, Deepak Jindal and uh, Rama Rangnath and uh, Gokul Rajaram and uh, another Asian. I, I'm not sure about his origin. He may be Chinese or he may be you know Korean or something like that so his uh, name is uh, function and I just discovered he's from uh, SF uh, Bay Area and he works in uh, uh, Google as such so the patent as the way the name says it is quite interesting uh, it clearly uh, uh, describes the way you know the Google uh, tries to analyze uh, the number of users uh, behind one or more IP addresses so in a case like you have uh, uh, you know traditional approach you may have a case like you know you may have one is to one user assignment so each user may have so typically you can assume in a case like uh, they are using uh, uh, static ip addresses or something like that so each user will have a static ip address and uh, you know they may hit upon the remote uh, google servers So in a uh, you know most traditional sense or in ideal case we can uh, imagine like this and assume you know these addresses are not changing. So in this way uh, determining these users is uh, quite straightforward and uh, you know they can uh, uh, sometimes you know uh, use these fixed static IP addresses forever or else uh, once in a while it may change. Whereas in a case like once they start using no mobile IP addresses you can understand well understand that uh, you know the 3G and the 4G mobile networks uh, will use you know a pool of static IP addresses and each time a user connects to this mobile ISP you know they may use any kind of you know pool of IP addresses and uh, you know they kind of uh, you know sh shuffle around between uh, various users so you know once it, they connect they will get one IP address and then they connect it to the Google server and then each time you know it will get changed so in this way what happens is it becomes some level of uh, challenge in terms of uh, google uh, sorting out which user is connected to which location but uh, you know this is kind of easy to tackle in a case like uh, they use uh, you know mobile uh, applications or else uh, they connect uh, using their uh, uh, tabs using their phones and stuff like that but uh, the time which they have uh, know done this patent is when uh, you know the start for smartphone market is just started uh, getting evolved so it is just quite early and uh, there is not much reference about uh, you know mobile networks and stuff like that whereas uh, they largely discuss about uh, browser cookies so in a case like if you have uh, you know browser cookies using the browser cookies what happens is uh, each time uh, if the user connects their laptop or desktop through a browser uh, you know the cookies will have the specific user details and through the browser cookies you know they can uh, uh, identify which user is connected so apart from this uh, cookies uh, what happens is there are cases like uh, you know the patent <laughs> explicitly discusses also cases like uh, there are cases like if the uh, you know cookies are disabled in a browser or uh, if they are accessing uh, you know the google uh, accounts through incognito mode or uh, you know private browsing or any any such mode what happens is in that case what google tells is so they have something called as uh, you know uh, client identifiers you know this is a term which they kind of coin over in the in the patent you know which they filed so that is called as client identifier 
so which is nothing essentially but uh, you know various uh, you know parameters uh, involved in http get and uh, post messages so it can be your uh, screen setting and it can be a time zone it can be mime types it can be host os uh, and uh, things like that so with this uh, what essentially google can do is it can uh, kind of roughly identify any sort of uh, click fraud happening and as well as it can uh, you know optimize the google search it can optimize uh, the youtube uh, suggested videos for that uh, specific user uh, you know uh, who is uh, you know connecting to google's network through that you know device or uh, through a set of devices from that location as well. so you know this is how you know patent uh, uh, describes the cases and apart from that uh, you know they exclusively use these parameters in terms of uh, you know language tracking and location tracking and uh, um, just everything about how google optimizes uh, their services specific to uh, you know particular user so now this is what it makes it extremely interesting so in case if you are uh, connecting your network through some sort of uh, tunneled uh, uh, connection something like a you know vpn or uh, some kind of uh, wan optimized uh, you know link and uh, some kind of you know tunnels uh, with respect to network optimization or something like that because you know this is the exact uh, thing which i was uh, uh, working out and uh, i was just architecting some sort of you know solution for a client and uh, you know in a case uh, if they kind of use you know that solution what happens is there may be even uh, literally thousands of users uh, will be passing through a tunnel and then uh, you know the other side of the tunnel will be you know connecting end of the day to the you know google server so in that case something like this happens you know there may be a sort of you know tunnel which i may create so there may be literally like you know thousands of users which will you know uh, their user uh, data will you know pass through this tunnel and then through this tunnel it will be uh, with a single ip address or you know few set of ip addresses will be connected to this remote google server so i was uh, assessing a case where in which uh, the google servers may think it is a sort of malicious data or else uh, it it may even uh, kind of think that it may be a sort of security breach or some sort of you know uh, hackers uh, you know uh, data or something like that so this is a case which i was investigating and uh, and then eventually i hit upon this uh, patent and i thought let me discuss exclusively in this video so without this uh, you know uh, kind of user identification or without this approach you know it is almost impossible uh, to figure out uh, google you know how many number of users are connected uh, behind a network especially in, in case if it is natted and uh, and also in case if these users are not uh, you know uh, logging in in their google accounts it is almost impossible to track and google needs it for their uh, especially their you know click fraud detection and uh, i find it quite strange because you know google can uh, anyway solve click frauds so by by the way of uh, you know uh, just not counting the clicks in terms of if they are clicked by the same owner or you know uh, google adsense account holder and then instead of just <laughs> ending up uh, you know blocking their accounts altogether so anyway so google takes these things quite seriously as we can understand so these are the various measures you know google uses otherwise it is quite impossible in terms of detecting uh, you know which user is connected behind which network and uh, and as well as you know keeping track of their uh, details as such so that's all guys for this episode i hope you guys uh, liked watching this video please do subscribe to this channel in case if you have any questions uh, you know please do post it across uh, youtube suggestions and as i said before it is not something i intentionally shot this video i just going through uh, you know this patent uh, for a specific reason uh, in terms of Uh, make sure that you know my architecture works or i can find some sort of work around so that it still works and google or it can be even facebook in future so that they don't think it is something malicious so so that's all guys for this episode thank you very much for watching this video have a nice day